Another remaining mystery has been why Sean Collier, a campus police officer at MIT, was apparently lured into an ambush and shot to death Thursday night. John Miller's been talking to his sources, and John, the police think they have the answer now. They do, Scott. Investigators now believe that Officer Collier was killed because the two bombing suspects wanted to take his gun. Tamerlan Tsarnaev and his brother Johar only had one real gun and one pellet gun. Investigators believe because the officer's holster had a locking system, they apparently couldn't get the gun out. Officer Sean Collier was shot in the head execution style while sitting in his patrol car. One of the first responders was Officer Richard Donahue. Here he is at the scene of Collier's murder. A few hours later, he would be seriously wounded in this shootout with the Sarnea brothers. Tamerlan Sarnaev died in the gun battle. The hunt for Johar Sarnaev came to a head the next evening when a man spotted the 19-year-old hiding under a tarp on his boat in the backyard. Four members of the Boston Transit Police SWAT team, Kenny Tran, Brian Harrer, Saro Thompson, and Jeff Campbell, got the call to apprehend the suspect. I saw the suspect sitting up on the, I believe it's called the gunnel of the boat, with one leg hanging over the side, and his hands were just sort of down by his side. He looked weak, he was shaky, appeared to be losing consciousness, and did have some wounds to his body. You could, you could see the blood on his body. And what are you telling him to do? Uh, we're, we're commanding him to get down off the boat. We don't know if he has a weapon or some type of uh, explosive ignition switch that he could just reach down and hit. We waited to a point where, as we were getting closer to him, and both hands came up. We saw that both hands were open. We bolted out in front of the shield at that point. It was the one chance we had, and we wanted to end this for everybody. I'm wondering what it's like when you're in a tactical mode. You think, I have a suspect. He may have a bomb on him. Well, just your training kick in, you know. You just, you can't be scared. You just got to do the task at hand. What was it like to be the person who put the handcuffs on probably the most wanted man anywhere? At that time, you don't think about that. I just put the cuffs on brought his hand around, somebody else holding the other hand. These guys will help me along with other people. We cuffed the other hand and we just moved out. John, one of the other things that you've learned is that there was no gun in the boat. It looks like Joe Harsarneev was not armed in the boat. Now, the police had been in these running gun battles with explosives, but I wonder if he wasn't armed in the boat, what started that gunfight there with the police? That's a fascinating question because it goes to what they were perceiving. They had one officer who had the high ground. He saw the tarp on the boat flip up, and he said he saw the hand come out with an object in it. He didn't think it was a gun. He thought that Johar was about to throw another bomb. He fired a couple of times at Johar. Other officers who were just arriving saw the tarp flip up, heard the gunfire, and apparently believed it was Johar firing out. So they laid down covering fire at that boat until the incident commander said, cease fire, slowed the incident down and said, now let's put together a plan to get in there and get that guy out of the boat. John, thanks very much.